Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another video. So it's been cold and dreary here, but I feel like there's a few things I can do to go outside and get prepped for spring. If you remember correctly from my first video this year or from some of my videos last fall, you know that I had a little bit of an issue with some dead spots in my backyard. So that's the first thing I need to tackle and today I feel like I can get outside and get going on that. So just a couple days ago I put out a video about how to use a thatching rake. And I'm going to be using that same rake today to kind of cultivate these spots that I have. I need to remove all the dead grass, get the dirt ready to go so that I can put down some seed and a little bit of peat moss on top of that. And we just do our whole seeding process like we normally would. So let's go ahead and get outside. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be using this thatching rake here in just a second. First, let's take a quick look at those dead spots and see how they're looking now compared to how they were even a couple weeks ago. So as you can see, those spots are definitely not coming back. Let's begin the work today of getting those back into shape. All right, so as I mentioned, I have another video on this rake if you wanna learn a little bit more about it. But quickly, this side with it right here with the straight tines is gonna be for dethatching. I find that this side right here digs in a little bit too much to this dead stuff. It still works. Um, as you can see, we're pulling up a lot of the top of the dead stuff, but if we want to get down in there, I find that this side with the curved tines works really well for that. So let's try that. See that kind of breaks up the, the dead stuff a little bit more and kind of rips it out. So it's kind of what it looks like there. So that's essentially how that works. I don't want to tear everything out of here because I want to leave a little bit there just for the seed to kind of have a little bit of natural cover over it anyway. But you can see here with the soil, um, I got it pretty good here. I'm going to work just a little bit to break this section up right here just a little bit more, but that should give us a nice base to start with as far as putting down some seed. So I'm going to continue to work on this spot here just a little bit more. So I'm going to continue to work on all these other spots here. I'm not going to put the seed down quite yet because we're supposed to get some heavy rain tomorrow and I don't want it to get washed away right away. But that'll be the next step with some peat moss on top of that to keep things covered a little bit. And then of course we just keep things watered and hopefully we get some warm weather here and we start to grow things very quickly. So that begins the prep here of these spots. Uh, it's supposed to be cold and rainy for the next couple days, but I'll keep you updated on the progress of these as I continue the steps here as we go into the spring. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.